element of the week is hydrogen. Hydrogen makes up 10% of our body. Hmm. Hydrogen is also the most abundant element on Earth. Hydrogen is the only element that can exist without neutrons. We owe most of the energy on our planet to hydrogen. Hydrogen is a non-metallic gaseous chemical element with the atomic number one, and it's the simplest and lightest of all the elements. Hmm, there's your scientific element of the week, hydrogen. Hi, this is Mrs. Talbert, and your STEM job is a botanist. A botanist is a scientist who explores and studies plants. Our scientist in history is Carl Linus. He was Swedish, and he lived in the 1700s. He was a botanist, a zoologist, and a physician who formalized the modern system of naming organisms. So Carl Linus was essentially the first botanist in Our history. science word of the week is botany. Botany is a branch of biology that deals with the study of plants, including their structure, properties, and biochemical processes. Hey, it's time for your math riddle. Are you ready? Here you go. What can you put between seven and eight that will keep the number bigger than seven yet lower than eight? What is it that you can put between? Well, here you go. You can put a decimal. Well, if you don't know what a decimal is yet, my friends, you most certainly will learn. So there's your math riddle. What can you put between seven and eight that will keep it more than seven, yet less than eight? Seven, eight, that would be seven and eight tenths. It's time for your did you know? Did you know that one million Earths could fit inside the sun? The sun is huge. Also, if you flew to the sun from the moon in a normal airplane, it would take about 20 years. The sun, is a colossal ball of helium and hydrogen gas and is the heaviest body in our solar system. Huh, did you know about the sun? There's a whole lot to know. Hi guys, Miss Wheatley here with a really great book recommendation for your summer reading. Children Make Terrible Pets by Peter Brown. You can find books like this at your public library at, who also has a summer reading program with a chart Every 20 minutes that you read, you get a sticker, and when you collect the full chart of stickers, you get to turn it in for a prize. Please support our local libraries and read this summer. All right, hi everybody, this is Mrs. Rourke, and I've been in Montana. We're actually in Denver now, and we're headed back to Tucson. This is video footage from Montana. Montana is home of the biggest grizzly bear population, and did you know there are more cattle in Montana than there are people? here with your summer stem challenge so we want to challenge you to grow something this summer and some of the best plants to grow in the summer are cucumbers tomatoes peppers and squash so I can't wait to see what you're able to grow this summer at home that's the end of another episode of principal science and friends have a great day ta-ta for now